Hey guys, what's going on? This is DC, host of Our Side Jive, Our Side Jive Live, and my office today is at Bottle Cap, Bottle Cap Alley, in the big city of Grapevine. Hey Amy, hey Rick, and uh, we're just uh, working here, doing a little uh, website update and a little Mailchimp action. And uh, what's up? Hey Tony. Hey Terry, what's going on? Hey Keith. So uh, yeah, Bottle Cap Alley is the place to be today. Um, they've got great tots here. Great tots. You guys, I guess you've seen Napoleon Dynamite, right? Well, one thing me and him have in common <laughs> is that he loves his tots. <laughs> and they are amazing here, right Tony? Don't give away our secret location Oh, okay, here. okay. We want to keep this to ourselves. Yeah. This place is great. We don't want that huge fan club to show up, <laughs> ruin our work session. It'd take an hour to get our tots. <laughs> yeah. They might start showing up and we'll have to wait in line. But they do have a pretty good Wi-Fi here. Just so, no power. Just no power outlets, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm on 76%. So, uh, no, we're sitting here doing some work today. Uh, makes a pretty good office. And, uh, hey, Richard. Hula! Hula! How the hula are you? Hey, Danielle. So, uh, no, I just wanted to hop on here a minute and say hey. And uh, it's a beautiful day. And, of course, we're inside. We're working. But I want to tell you that in 1972, on this very day, Led Zeppelin appeared in front of like 200, no, it was like 25,000. 25,000 fans in Western Springs uh, Stadium in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, the group's first ever gig in New Zealand and the largest crowd to ever attend a concert on that particular island. They even had a special train that was chartered uh, from Wellington to bring the fans to the concert. News reviews the next day reported that the band, of course this is Led Zeppelin, could be heard from five miles from the stadium. Five freaking miles, Danielle, John. Five miles, yeah. So uh, that's a cool little uh, thing about uh, today in 1972. And on this day in 1984, Jump by Van Halen started a five week run at number one on the US singles chart, a number seven hit in the UK. Singer David Lee Roth wrote the lyrics after seeing a television news report about a man who was threatening to commit suicide by jumping off a high building. Roth thought that one of the onlookers in the, in the, at the scene, you know, would probably be saying, just go ahead and jump. So that's how the song came about, jump. Um, I'm, I'm kind of uh, following my daily schedule here of providing you some great content. <laughs> Great content in a really short video. So this is kind of my, what do we call it? Uh, DC's uh, Daily Dose. Daily Dose, hey John. Yeah, absolutely, it was, I, I thought it was very interesting myself. So thank you for noticing. And uh, you know, some of you, I just don't even know how to pronounce your freaking names. I would love to pronounce your name, but I just don't know how to even begin. It's just, it's hard for a Texan, but uh, Anyhow, uh, I'm glad you guys are here, Jerry, and uh, I'm glad you're uh, on because it means you're probably doing well. And so, we're gonna get back to some work, eating our tots. And uh, probably talk to you tomorrow. Tuesday. Hey, Mike. So we'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Right, Tony? Right. Later. <laughs> Always a good time. <laughs>